Hey everybody, it's Midwest Dave, and I'm out here in the woods again. Uh, it's been three days since I was out last time, and I've had a little bit of rain. I believe today is May 2nd. Uh, I cooked up all them mushrooms the other day. They were excellent. The oyster mushrooms and the morels. Uh, I haven't ate the pheasant backs yet. I'm still working on a recipe for that. I'm going to make some soup, I think. I also made a dipping sauce the other day with sriracha and mayo and a secret ingredient. And I'm going to tell you that uh, recipe at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Let's go see if we can find some mushrooms. Okay, I've been out here about know, maybe 20 minutes and I stumbled upon these three pheasant backs. Well, they might be oh, dry or not. Seems like they're okay. We'll take them home and add them to our soup. That one's a little drier, but I think I can get the edges off of it. Haven't seen any morels yet. But uh, I feel we're closing in on them. Alright, just guessed the spot where I found quite a few small ones the other day, and I already see one on the ground here. Just about stepped into him. Right here. Get that one. Get a few more of those. That'd be great. Let's see if there's any more here. I think I pulled about, I don't know, 12 or 13 here the other day, just in a spot here. None of them were big yellow ones, that's for sure. Let's see one more here. Same spot. Thought there'd be a few more. Maybe someone else already beat me to them. Looks like I got one a little more promising here. There he is. They're just kind of scared around. They're not concentrated at all. Just got to keep looking here. Good one. And look what we're around. The old scrubby scrub brush. Honeysuckle. Pretty tough walking through here. This stuff's so low to the ground you walk through and get your feet caught up in it. But here's one here. Nothing huge, but uh just like I said the other day, they sure will eat up good. Looks like there might be one right over there. Real small. Nope, that would be a leaf. Tricky suckers. Up here on a hillside I haven't worked before, looking for them. I found a couple already and just stumbled onto a third one. Take a quick look here, see if there's any more. And I don't really see anything special in here again, other than we've got the honeysuckles 
I don't see any dead trees. And it looks like there's one here. Got that one, small. Looked over the hill here, and I see a nice one. Look at that. Now that's a beauty. Perfect size. Looking around here, I don't see any more. It's on to the next spot. Okay, I just found this mushroom here, and I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm not going to eat it, but it's probably probably good with my luck. It almost looks like a bullet on top. If someone knows what that is, uh, leave a comment. There's the base of it. Pretty cool spot right here. Very scenic. Again, the scrub brush stuff. Very thick. And look what we have here. A nice mushroom. And it's like something crumbled it or hit it or something, but uh, overall pretty good one. I see the one. Maybe there'll be some more up here. I found a bunch of small ones at that first spot uh, and came back around when I was about done and I found probably about another 12 to 15 more small ones. It's funny how the sun shifts and then you can start seeing stuff so let's go home and see how we did and uh, remember to stay tuned for that recipe I'm going to share for a dipping sauce. All right, so we're back home now, and uh, here's all my mushrooms I got today. A couple hours out in the woods, not too bad. Most of them are just small, though. Uh, I don't know if it's just to do with uh, the nourishment that's in the ground where they're at. It's getting tapped out from growing all these little ones every year. I don't know what's going on, but uh, hopefully the next time we get out, we'll find some bigger ones. Usually we start finding bigger yellow ones uh, when we get to the middle and then towards the end of the year. but. Uh, Either way, I'll take them all and uh, hang on a little bit. We're going to be in the house here pretty soon making up that dipping sauce. You don't want to miss this. Hang on. All right, as I promised, this is the dipping sauce recipe I was talking about earlier. I just come up with this. Maybe someone else has done this in the past, but essentially I've put one half cup of Hellman's Real Mayonnaise into our mixing bowl. I've got one tablespoon, give or take, depending on how hot you like it, of sriracha sauce. And the secret ingredient, which uh, people probably think this is nuts, but uh, I'm putting a tablespoon of maple syrup in with that. And uh, just mix that up real well. And again, if you like it hotter, you can add more of the sriracha to it. But I tried this the other night, uh, ate it on some oyster mushrooms, also ate it on uh, the morels, and it came out uh, really tasty. Taste that today, see what it's like. Perfect. So perfect, I might even add a little more of the hot sauce in there just to make it a little more zing. I can get it in there. It 
So that's it. The secret ingredient being maple syrup. Let me know in the comments if you try this. Uh, I like it a lot. So just let me know what you think. I want to say thanks a lot for watching and uh, look out for our next videos. A uh, girl I knew got six pounds of mushrooms last night in another spot and I'll probably either try that spot today or tomorrow. Take care.